The gilded house is synonymous with House Kimura, a Veilun noble family known for their wealth and having their fingers in many different ventures. Over centuries, this minor noble house built itself up by being savvy merchants, diplomats and politicians to greater houses, forming lasting bonds and unions that consecrated their bloodline. But what made them truly influential wasn't their nobility, but the many ventures they invested in. Be it trade, taverns or exploration, their success built them into a gilded house. The first of these ventures, Phoenix Antiquities, is their oldest affiliation and most profitable. The merchants and artisans in this trade house make a profit through playing the age-old game of risk versus reward, running caravans and traveling into hostile territories to make a profit. Another affiliation, Gilded Ventures, is an adventuring company. Made up of hardened explorers and otherworldly scholars, they seek to unearth what lies just underneath the surface and plunder the treasures found. They tend to work in tandem with Phoenix Antiquities, providing aid in retrieving rare materials. As both companies grew, along with House Kimura, came a larger need for protection. The Obsidian Order was contracted hereafter. Originally mercenaries, the Order operates on a creed of loyalty. The Order are first and foremost protectors. They do not seek out war but will respond at the call and protect those in need. Though they are the newest of the three ventures, they play a large role in protecting all the assets that make up the Gilded House. Hmm, I think you're forgetting something. There are only three ventures. No, you see, the Gilded House is synonymous with House Kimura. Without them, none of this would be possible. I'll take it from here. House Kimura can be traced back to Old Vera, serving as a merchant house in the Aelin Empire. After the fall, House Kimura resettled in Sanctus. The once small merchant house evolved on Sanctus into a prosperous Gilded House, and over the centuries that passed, made additional investments forging alliances with other families and consecrating their bloodline. While there were some questionable unions, House Kimura has remained a largely Veilun household. Alongside its ventures, House Kimura are what make up the Gilded House. And in a new world, destined for opportunity and strife, the Gilded House stands together, unified as one.